<clears throat> Hello everyone, just gonna do a quick video on my rehousing of my Bracky Palmer Albert Below Sensing. So, named it NC Lincy. I received it on the 17th of the 12th, 2014. Quite a while. I'm gonna put, this, as you can see, the temporary housing for it is quite small now. So I'm gonna upgrade to this larger one. I'm gonna put some cocoa fiber in the enclosure. I'm gonna make it quite deep because this species likes to burrow quite a lot. So I'm gonna make this substrate quite deep so it allows it to do that natural behaviors. While I'm doing this, I just like to apologize for not uploading a lot of videos lately. Just been busy with college a lot. I haven't really had the time to upload. And we're in the process of moving house too. So yeah, I can't get any more teas, so I can't get any do any more do any at all unboxing videos because I haven't done one yet but I wanted to so I can't order any new ones until I move house and that's quite deep now that's a good few two and a half inches or maybe more so it's very deep yeah that's pretty good I like to have it um sort of natural like like you know um, how it's a bit drier at the top and gets moist and damper as when you go deeper so I got this which is the moist level and then I get this bit of cocoa fiber which is dry and I crumble it on top of it to make it make a dry top layer I like this tea because this is actually the first, one of the first teas I've ever got and I've raised it from one centimetre. This shows how um, slow their growth rate is because I've had this for like coming up to two years now and now I think it's only grown, it's not even a juvenile yet. It's still slow but it's obviously quite bigger than what it was. I've done that dry subject, you can see look, it's dry at the top, moist at the bottom. <coughs> so I got this, um, this ordinary plant pot to put in the enclosure. Obviously I'm not going to put it just like that, but we're going to cut it and then bury it a bit and then dig a hole inside inside the pot so that you can burrow because trenches they normally like to just burrow from scratch once they dig a hole they normally don't like to dig another they either find one that's already in the wild I'm talking about if they, they will find one that's already um, pre-dug or give it a bit of a kick start from digging that's what I heard anyway um, yeah so I'm going to put the water dish here, around this corner here, bury that like I said, and yeah, go we'll record after Well, I just finished some um, rehousing. There she is, or he. I don't want to guess the set, because I don't want to get my hopes up. Obviously, every, every trench is a um, collector or breeder, they, they, they hope to get females as they live, live longer but whatever I get I get I'm gonna be happy with it. 
just can't believe I grew, grew this one from one centimeter. I know when they say that you should, when you're buying your first tarantula, you should um, get an adult first to test, so you know the temperament and, and all that. I have to care for them. But I thought I'll just get a little tiny sling. It's so docile this one. My other um, Bracky Palmer Arbo Pelosums things, they are quite skittish. But this one, when I say skittish, I mean they run from you, but after a while they get used to you. But I would still say that this is the best starter species. What's going on with the water dish? Is it good how drink? You can't really see the colours on this one. Get my torch up. Let's see if you can see the colours. Oh. Not gonna have a drink. Get my torch up. I think it's taking a drink. My hand's shaking, I don't know why. See, this is for those of you who think that tarantulas can't drink from water, they need those sponges or whatnot. This is proof. Sorry if I sound a bit funny. I think I'm catching a cold. Like I said in earlier videos, so I apologize for my um, lack of uploads been busy a lot with college and stuff like that and moving house. <laughs> if any of you wondering what I study at college, I study animal management, level three. Finished my just finished my first year. Come on focus camera. Come on focus. There we go. Such a beautiful tea. This enclosure is much better compared to the little one it was in. I think it's next to hide. We go in the hide now. Nice secure.
the um, my favourite genus species, tarantulas, the brachypalmas. All of my tarantulas are brachypalmas. And I haven't got many tarantulas. I know people that's got like over 20 and over 30. And that will definitely be me, I can promise you, when we move house. But not at the moment. He just want to do his thing. Shame. This is get my torch. This is my juvenile Bracky Palmer Herbert Pelosan. One second. <laughs> Yeah, it's my juvenile Bracky Palmer Obi Pelosan. Can't wait till this one matures. At first, I thought it was a female, but I'm starting to think it may be a suspect male. all its moats. The Bracky Palmer Smithy Mexican Red Knee. It's in its sweet. I like how it attacked this one. It was munching on it. This is its food, the beetle, little adult millworm. It attacked it, munching on it, and then left it. This is my Bracky Palmer Vegans. The Mexican Red Rump. This one was given to me by a friend at college. There's its malt. There's another one of its malt. A scorpion malt. See it. This is a closure of my scorpion. It's a bit plain, but I will add some fake plants like the traction I got. Add some of them, buy some of them, and get some. This enclosure is another Bracky Palmer Albert Pelosan. I think it's in pre-molt or maybe molting as, as we speak. Because it's webbed up its whole entrance to its enclosure and that only means it's gonna molt and doesn't want to be disturbed. That's what I learned anyway from experience. In here um, is Bracky Palmer Amelia. Mexican red. Let's see if you can see it. It's up the back there. I can't see it. What a dish he's filling up. And my last one Bracky Palmer Vegans again. But this one's a bigger sling. And this one I'm freshly malted as well. Yeah, you might be able to see it anyway. I need to make a video at night because they're normally out at night. And these mealworms. I got these mealworms and then next thing I know, they all matured into beetles. There's not a single actual mealworm in there. Right, and this wraps up my video. Yeah.
it's the newly moved one just chilling. Oh, it's cold. Um, right, someone's at the door now. <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna upload soon. Talk to you later. Bye.